Welcome back to another video folks. What we've got here is three objectives um, that I've completed that are themed for the Battle of the Bulge. Um, the new books have just been released so um, I've been asked to demonstrate the light whitewashing technique that I uh, uh, displayed recently on some half tracks armour cars and Panzer fours. So I chose a couple of half tracks lying around and I uh, thought to myself, once I've painted them, what am I going to do with them? So I've decided on making these objectives um, themed for the bulge. Um, so, I basically, as I do with a lot of these projects, I just felt my way through it. I, I, I built a, a road which is raised up, um, raised up a bit more towards one end. Uh, got lots and lots of twigs. There are twigs on the down slope and there's a indication of an up slope. Um, on the other side of the vehicles. Got some rocks and stones from the garden uh, and then lots and lots of milliput. There's some tufts and some um, snow as well just to give a, a bleak uh, wintry look. Now you can see there's uh, hopefully a good sense of movement. Everybody's waving people on saying, come on, this way, this way, we're in a hurry. A disconsolate looking uh, Falsham Jaeger on that half track. And then there's an SS Grenadier telling the other two to get moving, join the column. Now, you can see that the half track flamers are not the ones that come with the kit. They have the crew member uh, manning the flamer and it wouldn't be appropriate, I don't think, for um, uh, for the vehicle on the move. So I made a couple up using uh, plastic Sherman barrels and then brackets uh, from plastic shirts and they actually look quite good. Means they can sit loose as well. Normally they would be um, held by those straps that you can see folded on the side of the vehicle to the left of the gun, uh, the flamer barrel. But I've just left them as they are, they look quite nice like that. And then you've got the sort of famous Piper scene with the Kubel wagon. And a little conference, what way to go, especially if all those American engineers keep blowing up bridges. You know, so all in it makes, for three individual objectives, I put them all together and you get this nice story developing. No great idea of what I was going to do and how I put it together, I just kind of went for it. But I was quite happy with the results. Now you can see the whitewashing once again on the, uh, the half track. I've used the retarder medium to create the really streaky base colours. I painted the edges off the Objectives in black. There's potential to actually do something on the back of these, just once again for show, but uh, something I may do, I may not. At the moment, I'm, I'm just happy that they're finished, to be honest. I've avoided any greens in the uh, the terrain when I'm making them as well. I want it to look grey and brown. There you go, that's some running up the road. looking through the tree cover and let's, let's put them back together, excuse me the half tracks aren't stuck down as yet excuse me people, one second and let's have a look at the paper um, 
Это будет это. That classic scene with the Kubo wagon looking at maps, figuring out what to do next. I really like the uh, the cable, cable wagon and the hard edge camo, it looks quite cool. So individually they're really nice objectives, um, seen as a group, they are, they all add to each other. It tells a story, I do like to base things in a way that will Tell a story, add some character to your army. But there you go, folks. Hopefully, that might give you some ideas yourself for what you can do with um, objective markers. I nearly knocked the table over, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, And once again, this is something, with the exception of the Kubo wagon, this is something I did with just what I had lying around. The Kubo wagon, I had to buy the uh, um, the Whitman box set to get it, and also wanted the figures to go with that as well, um, to use for uh, for Whitman, uh, and sorry, for Piper. Um, but otherwise, bits and pieces lying around. Lots of Milliput stuff out the garden, and... Bob's your uncle. Incidentally, the uh, the frostiness on the ground was achieved using Tamiya white, just a very, very thin wash. You can see it there, like on the, the earth. Tamiya dries, when you wash it, it dries really grainy. So it's a good uh, weathering paint. That's it, got those frosty um, indications in the, the tracks there, the track marks. But there you go folks, that's another little um, project done. Got lots and lots on the painting table just now, so there'll be more videos coming shortly.